stage, very good. <laughs> Born as Halid Haji Ibrahim on the 29th of February in Oran's neighborhood, a major coastal city, located in the northwestern city of Algeria to the household of a conservative Algerian police officer. Growing up, Halid was all for music. Khalid's early performances in weddings and parties at the age of 14 cemented his musical presence in the Algerian Rai music genre, a genre of music that is folk-oriented and dates back to the 1920s in Algeria. Coming from a traditionally Arabian-oriented family, they were initially dismissive of his musical ambitions. Even with that, Halid didn't give up on his ambition and even went as far as recording his first cassette at the tender age of 14, without the knowledge of his father. When his father heard about his musical cassette, he demanded for the proceeds from the recording company but could not succeed in getting a dime from the music selling shop. Khalid's musical influence grew in lips and bounds that the Algerian authorities despised his music because he sang about sex and drinking in the clubs, so his music was banned on all radio stations and television houses in Algeria. With the censorship from the government, some high-ranking public figures still liked Khalid's music, he attracted the attention of a top military officer. Khalid, who had been avoiding his mandatory Algerian military youth service was lucky enough to find favors in the hands of Lt. Col. Hosni Snusi who played a key role in the musical growth and exposure that Khalid enjoyed during the early days of his musical career. This army officer went as far as convincing the then France's Minister of Culture, Jack Lang, to host the very first music festival of 1986 specifically on Rai Genre in France. This musical event led to the exposure of Halid to well-known French music producers who worked with him in his first debut album which was released in 1988, featuring a collaboration with Algerian jazz musician Safi Baudella and Steve Hillage. As the political unrest in Algeria continued back in the early 90s, Halid had to leave Algeria and escape to France. His migration to France meant that the he suddenly had creative freedom and access to France's high-tech recording studios and this exposure to European and other emigrant cultures influenced his sounds as well. However, one day, a James Brown concert was showed on television throughout Algeria and that changed everything all of a sudden, most Algerians began chanting Sex Machine Chorus without knowing what it meant. This sudden acceptance by the public made journalists to petition the Algerian authorities to equally allow stations to play college songs, since James Brown's sex machine was played on TV to the Algerian public. While in France, Halid, then signed with the French Barclay music label, who partnered him up with two producers, Michael Brook and Don Was. For his 1992 album, titled Halid, which featured the hit song, Diddy. Eight years gone, Halid was unable to return to Algeria because Islamic terrorists challenged the Algerian central government and targeted the liberal musicians during the political unrest, killing some of them. That meant that Halid continued his international musical career for more years only to come back to Oran after years later with fans lining up on the streets to welcome him back to Algeria. Over the years, Halid survived every upheaval and death threats he faced. A well-rounded musician who has been celebrated not only for his music, but for his role as a builder of bridges between cultures. Selling more than 80 million copies around the world makes him a nationwide celebrity and unofficial ambassador for the country's Arab minority. In 1996, he had another breakthrough with his Sarah album, whose first single, Aka, was composed for his daughter and became a French number one hit for Halid. A variety of producers contributed different sounds, with French hip-hop duo, Akenton, and Imhotep. Proving the most difficult on the single Oran Marseille with their rapid-fire rap. On Mektobi, there was even some reggae, which blended in nicely with the North African vibe. Despite its critical acclaim, the album failed to chart in the United States, unlike in France, where it became Khalid's biggest hit. In December 2004, Halid was invited to the United States for a special guest appearance at the Grammy Jam in Los Angeles, California. He performed Brazilian rhymes into his Diddy track with a cast of famous musicians celebrating the great musical legends Earth, Wind and Fire, demonstrating how their music traversed the world and blending with his North African style. Along the years, till date, a lot of songs came from Halid, with songs like Ense, Love to the People, Dima Labess, and El Esapel, this musician has shown why he leads in the right genre. An artist that believes in doing good for the world. Some of the proceeds from his musical tours are used for charity in war-torn countries.
In 2010 he performed his hit song Diddy at the opening ceremony of the 2010 FIFA World Cup in South Africa. Khaled has won numerous awards including an award for Diddy at the World Music Awards 1992 and the MTV India Awards 1992, Artist of the Year at the Victoires de la Musique 1995, and Best International Song, Say La Vai, and Best International Singer at the Murex Door 2013, amongst many others. Khaled married Samira Diaby in 1995 and both had four kids together. His good work in music is there to be seen by fans across the world, even though he is advanced in age, he is still very relevant in the music of Algeria.